So he is one of the greatest inventors the world has ever known, and now some of his machines and ideas are on display right here in the D. It's happening now at the Cranbrook Institute of Science, and it's called Da Vinci Machines and Robotics, as in Leonardo da Vinci. Correct. Right. Yep. So joining us is Cameron Wood. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me out. Everything about Leonardo da Vinci just sounds cool to me. Like he was like this mysterious, brilliant person just moving through life. He was all of those things. Uh, he is truly beyond most all of us would ever think about. Mm -hmm. Everybody thinks of him, of course, as an artist, but he was also an engineer, an inventor, an autonomist, um, a vegan. Ooh. Later in his life. And a man about town. And a man about <laughs> town, yes. And reputedly very, very handsome as well. He was the complete package. Really? And wow. vegan. Don't you wish you had a time machine? I know, right? And <laughs> vegan. So tell us about the exhibit, uh, th this amazing model here. Mm -hmm. So the exhibit, really, we do have reproductions of his artwork, but we're focusing on his scientific achievements, of mm -hmm. course, being who we are. So the exhibition is from Italy, and it features a number of models recreating his works. Many of his inventions were never actually built. He was more of a conceptualist, and they appeared in uh, a number of scientific writings that he made. But a few were made, and this was his attempt at a helicopter. And it actually, in theory, does work. Okay. His idea was you'd have four guys basically running like guys on a gerbil cage to create enough lift to get this thing off the ground. Wow. So the science is correct, but uh, humans just can't generate the amount of horsepower needed to actually get it to work. All right. <laughs> so it was a cute thing, a great idea, and uh, you know, a couple of 300 years later, it would have worked. It would have worked. Well, the mm. brain behind it is what's fascinating to me, but you brought in something to demonstrate, something else that he did? Yeah, now in our exhibit, we have a hands-on area. Um, you can go crazy with the things there, and one of the things that you can attempt to do that'll drive you a little bit buggy mm. is to write as Leonardo da Vinci did. He was left-handed, okay. and he routinely, at least on his scientific writings, wrote left-handed backwards. So you had to hold it up to a mirror to read it. So one of the things you can do is see if you can do what Da Vinci did. So let's give it a shot. Jason is like <laughs> challenge you to write your name backwards, and then we can hold it up to the mirror backwards and see if it appears right. forward. I'm gonna try. Right. Let's see. Let me right, think about this. And it'll make you feel any better. I'm lousy at it. Uh. My name is kind of easy. Ah, I just I screwed it up already. <laughs> I don't know if this worked. That's a weird looking A, but that's an A. Maybe like okay. Extend that. Maybe that'll make it easier. All right. Now, you don't necessarily have to use your left hand. We don't make okay. you go that far unless you happen to be a lefty. All right. So if you hold it up there, and I can't even see to oh, be you honest, but let's see in the mirror. Oh, that's wow. Cool. Good job, wow. Jason. So you if you it? did it right, you see Jason Carr. Wow. I, yeah, but. I should have started with Jason first. But then, <laughs> you see what I mean? I see what you're after there. You did an A for effort, though. You did your first and last. No, you, you have a little bit easier. Let's do, see how you I did, do. right? Oh. I don't know if I got it right, though. Uh huh. Oh, yeah! There I got you go. It. Brilliant. Thank you. You and Leonardo. Me and there Leonardo. You are, I, mean, yeah. I thought there was a little something there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So that's just yeah, one of the no. cute little things that you can play around with in our hands-on area. Very cool. <clears throat> what else? Like Tell the folks at home. <laughs> oh, gosh. In terms of the hands-on area, you can make your own little parachute guy. That was another one of his inventions that does actually work as a working parachute. And so you can build a little one, and we, our engineers built this cool little thing. It goes up and see if you can... Are these like the little army men that have the parachute on Pretty them? much, yeah. Oh, his, his design was basically a cone, or more accurately, a pyramid. Okay. But it works. People have actually built full-size ones and jumped out of low-flying airplanes and made it to the ground. Look at so. that handsome fella in your cool. shirt there. Yes, that is him as an older gentleman. He, um, for his day, he lived to a reasonable age, and this is reputedly one of his self-portraits. So there's cool. Leonardo right there yeah. on the chest. Thanks for joining us today. Absolutely. Thank Thanks you. for um, having me out. Makes learning fun. Indeed. Absolutely. It's the Da Vinci Machines and Robotics Exhibit now at the Cranbrook Institute of Science until January 13th. Mm -hmm. Thanks again.